Hello everybody, myself Ms. T.K. Dharani Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce CA. Now we are going to discuss about principles and practice of auditing, verification of assets, definition. According to Spicer and Pegler, verification of assets implies an inquiry into the value, ownership and the title, existence and position and the presence of any charge on the assets. Objects of Verification Correct valuation of asset and liabilities To ascertain whether the assets and liabilities as per balance sheet have been shown at their correct value. The valuation should have been made on the set principles of accountancy. Finding out the ownership and title of the assets, which means verification satisfies the ownership and title of the assets appearing in the balance sheet. Finding out the existence of assets, which means verification helps in ascertaining the existence of the particular assets appearing in the balance sheet. Finding out the ownership and title of the assets. Verification satisfies the ownership and title of the assets appearing in the balance sheet. Detection of fraud and irregularities which means verification helps in deducting the fraud and irregularities if any in the account book of the undertaking. Audit report Meaning of audit report Audit report is the final report prepared and signed by an auditor of the company in which the auditor expresses his opinion concerning the fairness and reliability of the financial statements. Types of audit report There are four types of audit report they are unqualified report, qualified report, adverse report, disclaimer opinion or the four types of audit report. Contents of the audit report are listed as follows. They are title, addressee, auditor's opinion, basis of opinion, going concern, Key audit matters, management responsibilities for the financial statements, auditor's responsibilities, place of signature, date of audit report or the various contents of the audit report. Thank you.